All right, so I've gone through and I've just kind of labeled these things here correctly. So my task one, two, three, four, five, task A, B, C, that should be D, that should be E. One thing you'll notice right there is if I need to change something, so if I click on this cell, but then I have to click on up here in this little bar right here if I want to edit the text. All right. Um, let's go ahead and just kind of neaten this up a little bit. So 3D printing and CNC, let's highlight both of those. Click one, hold control, click the other, hit bold. All right, task, we can bold that maybe. So it just kind of makes it clear that this is a task, but this is kind of a title. Uh, you'll notice right here, this column is not big enough to hold all of this information. So I could click and drag this over, but one thing you can do is you can double click. So if I come up here to the top and double click, what that's going to do is it's going to resize that width to fit the longest thing in there. So like if this was the longest one and it was out to like way out there, it'll adjust that to way out there. Control Z to undo, Control Z to undo. But also I noticed there's a bunch of space in here, like here's some bunch of space, bunch of space right here. So I could kind of go through and double click everything, but a little shortcut. Let's hit this thing to select all. Now if we double click on these kind of lines right here in between, what that'll do is it'll adjust everything. All right. You can also do that with rows. So like if I click on a row and wanted to make them all bigger, you can see it'll space them all out. Control Z to undo. All right, so this looks pretty good. now. Let's go through, let's hide the days we don't want. Now, we could go through, let's say we were doing blue days. We could go through and delete, so right click and delete these. But if we needed them later, you know, that might cause some problems. So what we can actually do is hide them. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna hide all of the, for this example, the even days. Hide whichever one you do not have, so. If you have this class on odd days, keep the odd days. If you have this class on even days, keep the even days. But I'm gonna go through and hide these white days. So I'm gonna hold control, select all my white days right here. And I'm going to right click and say hide column. Oh, accidentally unclicked. So right click up here at the top of the column. Right click, why is that not doing that? Say hide columns, hide columns. And that way, if we ever need them back for some reason, you can see right here these little lines, these little arrows, we can double click that and that'll unhide it. So the information is still there, it's just not in our way. All right, I'm gonna right click. All right, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna hide all of the ones I don't want to see. Uh, holidays, if you want to keep holidays, you can keep that there just to kind of help you visualize, hey, I've got a day off. Um, also notice I'm keeping the weekends because that's just giving us a good reference of here's a week, here's a week, here's a week. Just helps you visualize over time. All right, so I'm just going to go through, go through, right click, hide columns, do, 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 right click, hide columns. And here we are towards the end of school year. So so our last date, our last due date is Saturday, June 1st. You can keep these extra days here at the end if you want to. Doesn't really matter. That's just the end of school. I'm going to hide the holidays. You don't have to. You can if you want to. All right. Do hide columns. So now I'm going to zoom out just so I can kind of see here. All right. And here, yeah, I'll go through. I'm going to hide the rest of this end of the school year. All right. So here we have, now I can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, actually, this is one right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have 17 days, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11 assignments. So on average, more than one day per assignment. Some of these assignments will take 10 minutes to do. Some of these assignments will take you a couple of days to do. The ones that will take you the longest is C and D. So let's just 
give ourselves two days for that. All right, so here's my blank Gantt chart. Let's go in and let's plug in our schedule here. So our first day, let's do the project timeline. If you think this is going to take you two days to do, let's, let's give ourselves two days. So I'm just going to put a little X right here. Zoom in so you can see. All right, so I'm going to put a little X right here, a little X right here. Um, then, whether you want to do CNC first or 3D printing first, that is entirely up to you. For this example, let's do 3D printing first. So here I am on Wednesday. So filament recommendation, let's take one day for that. Safety quiz, let's take one day for that. Intro to Inventor, let's take two days for that. So I'm going to put X, X. Uh, keychain model, let's put two days for that. X, X. Operating 3D printer, let's take that last day. Which is good, because that puts us... Oh, oh no, I'm sorry, I, miss, I, I messed up earlier. These are Saturdays. These do not count for us, so we have 15 days. All right, so we need to adjust our schedule, because I need to be done by Saturday right here. All right, so this lets me figure this out. Let's put maybe two days for this one. Let's work backwards. So this is just working backwards. This is all part of project management, all right? Yeah, let's just take one day for that one, all right? Cool, all right. So I made a mistake, but that's part of the learning process is because I need to figure out, okay, that's my due date, so we can work backwards from there. Cool. All right, so that puts me at one, two, three, two, four. All right, so I got all my 3D printing tasks done, so now I need to do my CNC tasks, which puts me right here, right here. So let's just say one day for that, maybe one day, maybe two days for the comic. Uh, maybe one day for the safety quiz, maybe two days for the vCarve software, and maybe one day for operating machine, and that's good because that puts us at our due date right there. All right, so I just put little X's in there. Now let's go ahead and make those X's, I don't know, let's make them yellow. All right, so I'm a, wherever there's an X, let's make that yellow. Let's make it a bright yellow so I can easily see what I need to be working on when. So in this example, I'm doing the 3D printer first and I'm doing the blue days. You might be doing the white days, you might be doing the blue days, you might be doing the 3D printer first, you might be doing the CNC first. All right, But I should be done right now. Let's just take a look real quick so I can see. All right. I've got my schedule up top, my days. I've got every task has when I should be working on it. All right, so double checking that. Um, and I can see like, for example, where should I be on Friday, May 17th? I should be on my second day of manufacturing comic task two. So this will just help you plan it out. All right, so this is good. We're done with this. Now, one thing you can do because there are all of these empty rows down here at the bottom. I'm going to delete those just because we don't want them. So I'm just going to come down here, you know, right there. I'll leave a couple of cells, a couple of rows just if I need it. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to right or hold down shift, right click, and these I'm going to delete. So now I'm left with just this is my Gantt chart. This is my project timeline. This is good. I could print this out, I could put it on my wall and it will help me figure out everything. Excellent, so we're done with that. Now, how are we gonna turn this in? Go back to Schoology, go back to the assignment, double check what it says to say all your requirements and everything, and how we're gonna turn it in. If we're turning it in as PDF, we're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to Download. We're going to go to PDF. And it says, hey, this is what it's going to look like. Does that look good? That looks good to me. If, you, if it looks weird or something, you can play around with these. I'm going to set it fit to width, just so it all fits nicely on one page. And I'm going to hit export. What this is going to do is it's going to download that PDF to your computer, to your downloads folder up into here. 
Then in Schoology, you'll go to that attach assignment, attach file, assignment submission, file, upload that PDF. There you go. All right, let me know if you've got your questions along the way.